Welcome back, friends, with more of The Big Bang Theory. This is Season 8, Episode 14. Last time, Sheldon worked himself into a frenzy by upping his anxiety so he could be in the optimal working condition, really pushed himself past the limit, and then we also had everybody's favorite game show, Emily or Cinnamon. That was very fun. All right, after last time, when I basically guessed the episode premise, I think we'll hold off on looking at the title for each episode till after the episode. But strap in, folks. Full reaction's gonna be on Patreon. We're four weeks ahead over there as well. Leave a like and let's get started. Tell me about your day. How's it going with the particle detector? Do you really want to hear about oh, that? You remember that? You're building a particle detector using superfluid helium. Uh -huh. You know, when you talk like that, I want to take you right here on this table. Uh... And you know from past experience, this table cannot support both our weight. Oh. Soddy table. Well, it's tricky working with superfluids. Whatever container you put them in, they kind of creep up the sides and crawl out all on their own. Wow. Like Sheldon's ant farm. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You don't have a lunatic. You really want to talk about this? Oh, I do. I, I, I didn't write superfluid helium on this napkin for nothing. Aww. She's trying. Okay. Empty space is imagined as a superfluid with all of its qualities. Viscosity, density, surface tension. What? Hey, if you're pausing for dramatic effect, I'd keep it moving. Is he having a breakthrough? <laughs> People don't talk about surface tension. Oh. It's exciting. This is really exciting. I have to go find Sheldon. More than the table thing okay, It's more well, exciting? If you find him, you know, use the kitchen island. That coffee table will not support both of you. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? What do you think? So what do you think? Aw, he values his opinion. He's right though, right? <laughs> it's a breakthrough. <laughs> is he trying to find holes? I know this isn't my area. The, the whole thing reeks of blueberry. You know I can't stand these scented markers. <laughs> Can you- do you have an actual problem? I told you to taste them. What? <laughs> Give him his flowers. It's good. Really? I like it. In fact, Ooh. I have got something for just such an occasion. I was starting to think I might never get a chance to give it to you. Stop backhand complimenting him. Oh my god. <laughs> You're giving me a sticker. Not just a sticker. A good job it's sticker. It's a sticker of a kitty saying me wow. <laughs> me wow. <laughs> Not a preschooler. What, it, fine, I'll take it back. I earned this. <laughs> I earned it. I want it. Oh, is he working on it now? Awake? For a man whose last observation was our universe may be the surface of a multi-dimensional supercooled liquid, you're still awake seems like quite the sophomore slump. Oh my god. <laughs> I wrote a paper. Did he ask you? You to? wrote a paper on my idea? I wrote a paper on our idea. Our? This is good. Yeah. Our idea is really good. R? We switched it to, we switched the it to R? The light bulb in this oven is ridiculously bright. <laughs> this could be a big deal. Only way we'll know for sure is if we post it online. Oh, man. I have it ready to go, but I wasn't going to do it without you. Well, good. At least there's that. Should we just sleep on it? We could. Or else somebody else. We always somebody else, the risk yeah. of someone else beating us to the punch. Do it! Together. Like with me. <laughs> awesome. Three... Click. Wow, there was more tension there than the table thing. <laughs> Is your tongue blue? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> movie night. And he was what talking about you? Leonard's Whatever sophomore to slump. movie you were in? Oh, God. Search for it. What? No, no, why? Because it'd be fun to watch. It would be humiliating. Aw. Well, now we have two reasons. <laughs> well, maybe it turned out better than you think. Uh, bananas. Get your fresh bananas. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Oh, it really didn't. <laughs> And she's taking so much joy in it. Put this in your mouth, your tongue will freeze and break off. Please don't do that. Does it smell like blueberries? No. No. Then we're probably okay. Probably. Hey, one calls it insightful and innovative. And it's you're thanks to Penny prodding him and asking it's questions. Nice to meet you, Mr. Insightful. Oh, the pleasure is mine, Mr. Innovative. Uh -huh. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Can you believe these jackasses? <laughs> Just dandy, Mr. You're I not good at this. I wish I was better at improv. <laughs> <laughs> the analogy between space-time and a supercooled fluid is either meaningless or false. I wish oh. this blog would devote itself to real science instead of wasting our time with crackpot wannabe theoreticians in a rush to publish. Who wrote that? In a yes, rush. Anonymous. Huh. I'm responding to it. No, don't, wait, no, don't, don't. Lower don't. yourself to their level. Look, I am simply going Never to... Never respond to the comments. I can't help myself scientists. sometimes. It's inspired me to come up with my own theory. Maybe space-time is like two clowns with their heads in a bucket, much like Cooper and Hofstra. Oh, no. This sounds... Can I respond Personal. 
you mess with the bull, you get the horns. <laughs> Is it Kripke? I'm about to show this guy just how horny I can be. Wait, no. You could always show him the table thing. I got that joke keeps coming back. Somebody else do it. <laughs> Somebody else do it. <laughs> I think I might be turning into a killer gorilla. Why do you think you're turning into a killer gorilla and not just a regular gorilla? That's a good question. <laughs> Leave me there alone. Careful, she'll bite your fingers off. <laughs> Okay, so I've been poking around the internet, and I think I found something oh. you'll enjoy watching even more. Bernadette in a beauty pageant. <laughs> okay, I learned my lesson. Making fun of people is wrong. <laughs> Freaking Bernie. I haven't learned my lesson. Play it, play it. I haven't learned my lesson. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Oh, my God. How old were you then? You look like a talking cupcake. <laughs> that is what she looks like. Quiz knows. Oh man, it's what you get. Amy's turn next. What could she possibly have? In fact, we are experts in our fields. And while you hide behind your anonymity, we stand behind our paper. And later tonight, your mother. Oh my God. Okay, without the last part, it was pretty, it was like decent. I don't think that's too rough. We're just standing behind her. That's not what that means. I thought we were gonna say boo and scare her. <laughs> about herself and post it on the internet. Whoa. <laughs> no. Sorry, sorry, I had to get the spotlight off me and tearing down other women is part of my pageant training. Oh my god. Okay, he got embarrassed tonight, come on. No, but it's personal. Why? Is it about you and Sheldon? No. <laughs> no. You know I'm gonna Aww. read it either way. <laughs> Good luck finding it. <sighs> She's gonna find it in Amelia like two seconds. And the time trap. Found it! <laughs> Something about this morning felt different. Mm. Why? <laughs> Why? Maybe it was the unconscious handsome man with porcelain skin and curious clothing she Maybe. was about to discover lying in the field. A man who would open her mind to new possibilities and her body to new feelings. <laughs> Aww. Uh. You know, there was a time when I was alone and had no friends. Starting to miss that. Aww. <laughs> I'm going to destroy him with a uh. picture of a bored cat saying, Oh, really? Sure, that'll work. <laughs> what are you doing? I've uh, created some other user accounts. So what I if it's one of them messing with them? Comments about their paper. This wee huh. little... This wee little <laughs> baron of Terry nearly blew me killed off. <laughs> so bad. Oh Cooper boy. and Huff, they work at Caltech, essentially a technical school where even the physicists are basically engineers. Oof. Engineers. Oof. Whoa, insults. Do you know how insulting Just send the oh, really? All the other comments said really nice things. Focus on those. Yeah. Yeah, Dr. that's Dimitri hard. Dmitry Plankovic of Moscow University said, This paper great. I love it more than vodka. <laughs> Seems legit. I'm done hiding from bullies. I'm taking this into the real world. What does that mean? What? I told him we'll meet him face to face. Delete that! Oh, come on, Sheldon. Oh, okay, okay. Too late, he responded. It's him. He's trying to video chat. Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> Time travel. I don't understand, said Amelia. Cooper stared at her. Which word don't you understand? Time or travel? Oh my god, that's so him. Even in your fantasy, Sheldon's kind of exhausting. <laughs> A little bit. He's like that in the beginning, uh, so she can change him. It's called. I good can writing. fix him. I can fix him. All uh, she longed to ask was if his heart was beating as fast as hers. Oh. But she was too afraid to hear the answer. What that mouth do? So instead, she asked if in the future Montana ever became a state. <laughs> nice. I'm so sick of people being mean uh, on the internet. I think the anonymity too. makes everyone feel like they can say things they'd never say to your face. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I say we call this person back. Oh boy. All right, do it. Call him. Let's find out what this loser he looks has ever accomplished. To Leonard for confirmation. That's good. Is it going to be Click someone we me. know? Click it with me. <laughs> well, hello there. Stephen Hawking. Professor Hawking. Oh brother, you should see the look on your faces. He was just messing with them. Like our paper. The premise. 
This is intriguing. <laughs> then why are you attacking us? Uh, if you were sitting in a chair for 40 years, you'd get bored too. So he becomes an online troll? Anyway, ciao. Ciao. <laughs> oh my god. Stephen Hawking liked our paper. That's what you're focusing on? Said the premise is intriguing. All right. Good to see you again, Mr. Stephen Hawking liked our paper. <laughs> Welcome I back, Jackasses. Well, Mr. Our premise is intriguing. How do you do, Mr. I'll admit that's pretty cool. <laughs> Raj still can't say shit. Yeah, you keep setting me up for failure. <laughs> Amelia stood before the newly repaired time machine. She regretted giving Cooper the part he needed. Because she wanted him to give her the part oh she needed. Oh my god. He took her hand in his and said, Come with me. I can't stay. She felt a strong hand on her shoulder spin her around. Oh. It was Cooper. <gasps> <laughs> so invested. What about the future? Asked Amelia. He looked deeply into her eyes and whispered. You're my future. She felt his warm breath. You will not believe what Stephen Hawking just said. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> it's a big deal. I can't believe this is happening. What's the significance of the spider? Oh, that represents Spider-Man. He does whatever a spider can. Charming. There's a lot of rhyming in the future, isn't there? <laughs> You're right. This is even weirder than I thought. You want me to stop reading? No, no. no, no. Are the ways of physical love different in the future? Yeah, okay, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Reading porn of your friends is weird. So the title of this episode is The Troll Manifestation. I wondered who it was. At first I thought maybe Kripke, and I briefly entertained the idea that Howard or Raj did it, but no, they, they mess with each other as friends, but not to that extent. In the end though, it turns out it's Stephen frickin' Hawking. Oh my god, he messes with Sheldon and Leonard because he's bored. And yeah, poor guys were taking it really hard, and I can definitely empathize, because just one bad comment can grab so much of your attention, even if you know they're wrong or they're stupid it's just i don't know staying silent is free and yet people so confidently proclaim verifiable falsehoods and think they're so smart while doing it more than being like personally offended i'm more often just like how are we so stupid as a society and of course there are brilliant and insightful comments too but our brains aren't really made for social media just one bad comments makes you spiral and makes you focus on it and yeah, the huge breakthrough was actually triggered by Penny taking an interest in Leonard's work. That was a really sweet moment. I appreciate her being open to new ideas and new things just because her partner is into them. And yeah, I've often found that explaining something you're knowledgeable about to a beginner in that topic can actually deepen your own understanding of the material. And sometimes that natural curiosity and outside perspective triggers something you hadn't considered before. I wish Leonard had given her just a bit of a thank you for this, but no, it didn't happen. But it was very cute to see Leonard so gassed up to show his work to Leonard. He really values his scientific analysis and his professional opinion. I actually really like that scene. And yeah, Sheldon, if the sticker came from anywhere else, I would have thought it was sarcasm, but I actually don't remember if Sheldon is capable of sarcasm. And Leonard was like, really? A sticker? But then he was so desperate to keep it. And yeah, we've definitely seen him be lacking in external validation. Would have been funny if we saw him wear that sticker for the entire episode. I'm just so proud of it. I think Sheldon did cross a bit of a line by doing all the math and writing an entire paper on this idea without first getting Leonard's okay. And yeah, Sheldon has never been the best with boundaries. And I'm glad that Leonard wound up being okay with it though and valued his contribution enough to just publish the paper without really even looking it over. Click With Me was really sweet as well. It's corny and funny, but I think at the same time, we'd all love to have someone you really click with. Dang it, walked right into that pun. Everybody had a turn being made fun of. They watched Serial Apist. I'd probably watch it myself just to make fun of how bad it is. And I think the only movie I've done that with on this channel is Cats. It's actually the only video of mine that I've ever re-watched because it's hilarious to see myself descend into madness while watching it. Poor Penny though, getting made fun of like that. They should watch the sequel at some point too though. And I think Bernie's is the most embarrassing though, the beauty pageant, the beauty pageant. I think it's actually funnier that they didn't try to make her look younger in any way. So it looks like the pageant could have been as recent as like a year ago. But oh my god, her little song and dance was ridiculous. I couldn't believe it. And then yeah, Amy's fanfiction of her own life. Oh man, Ron Chi. The women get so invested in the story. That was really great. And then we had an actual scene play out in front of us. Amelia and Cooper were very, very steamy. I wonder how Sheldon would react if he read any of that or if he knew his friends had read it. 
But yeah, very, very fun episode. Uh, full reactions on Patreon in the link in the description below. We're four weeks ahead over there. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys soon with more. Bye, friends.